Hello everybody and welcome back to F1 Manager 2022 where we are Aston Martin going for the World Drivers Championship. Probably not this year, hopefully next year. But uh, in the last race, if you haven't seen it, go and click the description in the top corner. And uh, yeah, we were second and third in Hungary. Max Verstappen charging up from the wall towards the back end of the grid and uh, getting the win there. But second and third, it's been a very... Very good season for us, to be honest. We are having a fantastic time this year. Season 3 of the save. You know, we're making good progress. There's not much else that can be said, really. But on to the cars. And we have new developments to be on. So the chassis is still number 2. Uh, let's do it this way, actually. This will be key. car 1. Oh, it is car 1. Chassis is number 2. The front wing is now on to number 4, which is very, very good. Uh, the rear wing is on to number 4 as well. So we're doing lots of progress on that. The side pods are now on to number 3. So you can see there, if you look on the right-hand side, it's going to give us... Better acceleration, better medium speed cornering, lower, a quicker top speed, and medium speed cornering in the dirty air as well. So that can go on car one and car two. The underfloor that we've been waiting for is here as well, and that's going to make us the fifth fastest car on the grid, which is... Uh, very helpful indeed. It's going to make our acceleration even better, our medium speed and high speed cornering even better. So yes, let's get that on one car one and car two as well. And uh, the suspension is still number two. We'll probably do that next, to be honest. Uh, a little bit of a suspension upgrade. But we've got some development ongoing, which is uh, research for next year, basically. We're manufacturing some more side pods, but generally we are just researching, getting ready for next year's car, which will be... Pretty epic. Um, I think, do we need, we got four, 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 two, but we've got two more being manufactured, four and five of those. Okay, so we're in a good position in terms of uh, car parts, which is pretty useful. So on to the race performance targets. Qualifying position, two drivers in the top eight. So we'll go two drivers into Q3. We'll have two drivers into Q2. That would be lovely. Uh, we'll, we'll put the fastest lap on there again. I don't mind if we'd miss that one. And again, our qualifying and finishing position streaks are doing well. Right, I will be go and do practice for the Circuit de Spa Francochamps in Belgium. And we'll be back for qualifying. See you in a bit. So practice is complete and we are heading into qualifying for this one. Um, Pretty good. Actually, 99% confidence for Fernando Alonso. 94% confidence for Valtteri. But uh, yeah, very excited about this Grand Prix. It's a good mix of speed and technical ability. So the car needs to be good and the drivers need to be good. So, you know, it's going to favour people like Fernando Alonso and Valtteri Bottas and Max Verstappen and all the people that are good drivers in a good car. But um, a few little incidents, none for us, but in practice three, Sonoda crashed, Schumacher crashed, um, Stroll span out, obviously, and someone else span as well uh albon albon span as well so uh, a few little things just to keep an eye on there could be incidents in this race but we're going into qualifying because that's what we care about at the moment so we're going to send out the drivers straight away see what, see what happens on a fresh circuit with potential slipstream and all that good stuff but um you can might be able to tell from my throat it's a little bit sore voice might sound a little bit different but uh, overall we're in yeah it's, it's good i'm hoping we don't get caught in traffic here because Okay, we got past signs, I think, on the straight. And, um, you know, the AI is programmed to be a little bit better in terms of getting out of the way. But i got a feeling we hit quite a lot of traffic. So don't go out straight away in Belgium if you're watching this. It's uh, not ideal because you get caught in everybody else's traffic. Why is Bottas still out? Interesting. I don't know why. Car, reti car retired? Why is Bottas retired? We didn't get a warning about anything. Why is Bottas retired? That's really random. I mean, he's retired in pole. He's f he set the fastest lap. But why is he retired? That is crazy. I don't... That's come out of absolutely nowhere. Why is he... I'm so confused. I'm so confused about that. I have no idea why Valtteri Bottas has retired his car. I mean, we might find out, but he is going to get into Q2. So, yeah, I, I have no idea. Bottas, uh, Alonso's at the back. He should have enough time to get round. Shouldn't you, Fernando? Yes, you will. Good. Um, so, yeah, we'll start Fernando off. He's doing a green sector one. He's doing a green sector two. The checkered flag is out. Thanks for slowing down with that. And a sector flag in yellow one. But uh, a sector flag in yellow one. A yellow flag in sector one. So, why was Bottas retired? Why is why did why? Why? He's back in it now. What was wrong? Was it something to do with 
Yeah, damage none, damage none, damage none. Damage none, damage none, 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 none. I don't know why he retired. How biz How strange. How utterly, utterly strange. He stayed out for another lap and then retired. It was very, very, very peculiar. Very peculiar. Right, Q2, here we go. Um, let's. He's retired again. I don't understand why Valtteri Bottas is car retired. I'm going to assume that's a, a bug in the game, but that's really, really strange. I have no idea why Valtteri Bottas is car retired. There's no damage to his components. There's no issues with things like that. It's very, very odd. Alonso goes second fastest with his first lap on used tyres in Q2. Lovely stuff. He's done it with Alonso as well. Alonso's now staying out for another lap. Why? Is he going to retire him as well? It's going to retire him. So we're not going to get out of Q2 because both of our drivers have retired. Well, I mean, Alonso will because I assume he's gonna, still going to keep a fastest top 10 time. But I'm so confused. No incidents, no spins, no crashes. Absolutely nothing. I mean, with Bottas, I might as well take new engine components. But why? Why was... Why? There's no penalty. And then you go into Q3. You press continue. And that's it. We're, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Why were we out? I don't... I don't understand. There's nothing wrong with the car. Everything is totally fine. Like, I don't get it. I just don't get it. There's not enough damage to retire the car and the engine components. I, I assume it's just a bug for some reason. I'm going to Google it. I'll be right back. Okay, so a little bit of Googling suggests it's a bug where the game doesn't pit you properly and then you run out of fuel. So you retire. So very odd. We'll live with it. I think we're going to use this opportunity to say we're going to take a new engine. Um, yes, we're just gonna we're just gonna start from the back. We're just gonna start from the back um, And take our engines now with a messed up qualifying. I think it makes sense. We've got a whole new gearbox So you cannot buy a new gearbox for this car because one of them are, one of them isn't being used. Yeah, okay So right, let's go brand new engine. Well, I mean that engines good enough actually So let's keep that engine in we'll go a brand new ERS system Why the hell not and then we'll chuck in the brand new gearbox that we've got which means I could probably now take a new... Oh, no, I can't take it yet. But, yeah, how how strange. How bizarre. How very, very bizarre. Um, Valtteri, yep, yeah, get a new engine. We'll just pay millions upon millions to get new components. Yep, yeah, thank you. And I assume you're the same with the gearbox. Yep, yeah, we can't get a new one. So, new gearbox in the car. Uh, we'll go new ERS in the car. And we'll... we'll I'll tell you what, we'll give Bottas a brand new engine. Let's give them both the brand new engine. What? What's? I mean, we've taken it, right? Let's give them both the brand new engine, get most power out of the car possible. Lovely stuff. Right, strategies. Here we go, into the strategies. So um, they're saying which is the quickest at the moment. So we'll put that on A. So that's five seconds slower, eight seconds slower. So we will start with the medium to hard strategy and see where we go. That is slightly quicker. And that is not. That's where we were. That is slightly quicker. So update strategy. That is quicker. That is not quicker. So that is the quickest one. Okay, let's have a quick look then. Add new strategy. Um, let's go medium, soft, and medium and see what we can get from this. 10 seconds slower. 9, 8, no. Okay, so 8 is the cutoff point for that to be the quickest. No, that is not going to be quicker at all uh medium hard no let's go medium hard like that that isn't quicker put that one back to where we were which was eight and that isn't quicker so it is definitely a one stopper medium to hard the only other thing to have a look at is if we went hard to medium no it's not it's going to be roughly the same but it's staying red so medium to hard seems to be the way to go uh, pitting on lap 21 and we could even can you put oh yes please five seconds six seconds quicker seven seconds quicker okay seven seven seconds quicker looks to be the key there that is quicker that isn't quicker that is quicker that is quicker this is the painstaking stuff we go through to get the perfect strategy that is the perfect strategy right there pitting on lap 20 with push push okay oh Okay, so then we go into Bottas. We know exactly what we need to do. Delete that one. Delete that one. Um, although softs to mediums is something we didn't look at. So if I just quickly select that, put that on that, and then go, no, that's slower. That's quicker. That's slower. So that is the quickest soft to medium strategy. And we were doing medium to hard, which is much quicker. Yeah, much quicker. So mediums to hards, push, push. And it was lap 20, 
one, I think, was the quickest. Is that what we said? I can't remember. 21. No, that's one second quicker, which is lap 20. But we're not going to double stack, so we'll pit Bottas in one lap earlier uh, and get him onto the mediums a little bit early. Right, that was easy enough, wasn't it? Fuel-wise, I'm not expecting a safety car, but I think we can save a bit of fuel around Belgium. I think the DRS allows us to do that. Push, push, push off the start line. We're going to be starting at the back, so let's get out there and do it. As long as we're not retired from the race for a random reason... Hopefully we can climb into the points. Here we go then. Beautiful skies in Belgium. It's bright, sunny sunshine. And we are both right at the back uh, here. There is Alonso. There is Bottas, who's already catching up. Bot I mean, Alonso's already up into 18th, so that's a positive start. Uh, into the carnage of Turn 1 in Belgium, which is a really tight right-hander. And uh, here we go. Right, Alonso up into 18th, making progress already, trying to get past the, uh, the McLaren. Um, let's getting clean air if we can because I think our natural pace will get us past people here so he's trying Alonso's trying but he's not going to get it done just yet so we'll just let him sit in behind the McLaren Bottas still last oh he's making a move he's gone down the inside of the Williams and he does get it done well done Valtteri Bottas he'll make that stick I've got no issues there that he'll make that one stick so Alonso in behind Guan Yu Zhou his old teammate Oh, the controversy. Oh, the controversy will be good here if something happens. But, uh, yeah, we can't afford to let um, the front runners get too far ahead. Although we are starting right at the back. So they probably will get quite far ahead. But, um, yes, yeah, such a speed circuit. So, in theory, our new engines, uh, new engine components should really help us out. How's Bottas doing? Yeah, right, right in behind uh, Fernando Alonso. Who, uh, whoa, Grand Nujo having a bit of a twitch there, but managed to keep it on the track. As Is there going to be a move here from Alonso? He pulls out, trying to have a little look. Nothing happening just yet. Fuel, we'll, we'll keep an eye on fuel. We'll get that back into the limits. But Verstappen is already 0 0.7 seconds ahead of Carlos Sainz. Looks like it's going to be a Verstappen masterclass out in front again. As uh, Alonso puts the brakes on pretty hard. And needs to get this. Oh, there's Valtteri Bottas just coming on the outside of his teammate. We're going to let them race. There's no point in not letting them race right now. But Alonso gets his foot down. Can he get the McLaren into turn one? Can he get the McLaren? Yes, he can. He's going to get him in. Bottas will probably get the McLaren as well at some point. Let's go on board with Valtteri for a little bit. As again, Guan Yuzhou trying to go defensive but can't get it done. And uh, right, now we'll go back into balanced. Hopefully that fuel will come naturally down. We'll get into neutral. And uh, just let this let, let these guys do their thing. It's going to be a long journey back, hoping that, um, you know, maybe safety cars come into play and things like that. But at the moment, both drivers have climbed positions on lap one, and that's all we can ask for, really. We need to clear these people quickly, though, Alonso. You're stuck behind Halga, Hamilton, and Stroll. So, yeah, you need to uh, you need to get that done. Preferably, let's. We could go up into overtake. I don't think now is the ideal point to do it. This is a bit more of the, the technical side. As Alonso gives Hauga the dummy, trying to get it done. He's on the inside. Alonso, can he stick his nose in? Yes, he can. Well done, Fernando Alonso, getting past that Alfa Romeo. Is Bottas going to follow him through? He's not far behind. The next up. Oh, what's everyone's tyres doing? Oh, loads of people on the softs. Wow. Okay, I'm going to assume people are going to do soft medium. So that will make it a very interesting race. But Alonso clearing some of the pack quite quickly. Although Hamilton is struggling to keep up with an Alfa Romeo in front of him. That's uh, that's a bit of a bizarre. Let's clear Hamilton as quickly as we can with a bit of overtake. And um, see if we can get this done. You can see him just putting a bit of battery down to try and get past Lewis Hamilton. Not quite yet, but he should get it done after this chicane. Even though Hamilton's on the faster tyre. I trust the pace we have now in this Aston Martin. As uh, DRS is open, Alonso pulls very, very wide for some reason. Not too sure why he's pulled that wide. Maybe just not a good exit. Hamilton, oh, it's suddenly got very breaky there, didn't it? It suddenly got very breaky all over the place. But Hamilton's just starting to... Looks like he's pulling away from Alonso, which is a bit of a concern. I think we just let the natural pace then get us back into this one because we'll get DRS as we come up here. And our DRS and car is quick now, so we should be... All good, really. The DRS opens. I think Hamilton... Did Hamilton get it? I can't really tell. But uh, Bottas having a look at Hauger. He really needs to get past Hauger quickly. So 
Let's get that up into overtake for Bottas. Oh, Hamilton's in the wall. Hamilton is in the wall. It happened right in front just as we came back to Alonso. I think he's back on. He is. No injury for Hamilton and no safety car just yet. But Lewis Hamilton giving us a free space. Right, Bottas uh, needs... To, oh, Bottas is now past Guan Yu Zhou. He's still... Well, no, there we go. He's just getting past Hauger right now. It was congratulating Bottas for overtaking someone that had crashed. So, well done. Um, but, yeah, we need to get Bottas and Alonso back into this DRS train to allow us to get the DRS. So, happy for them to push to get up there. So, let's deploy... Just while we're going to get back on this train. Oh, Alonso is now in DRS. But I'd yeah. like him to be right up the back of them if possible. He should have the natural speed into the corners and stuff. Our next sort of gap to a DRS train will be when we get past these three. Magnussen up to Ricardo, who is then behind Norris, who's lacking pace on Sonoda, of all people, up in ninth. So, yeah, the qualifying situation didn't help. But we are making up the pace pretty quickly, it seems. With new engine components and a fast car. Um, points aren't out of the question on this. Points aren't out of the question. So on board with Valtteri Bottas. Alonso and Bottas have both caught up to this DRS train in front. Alonso trying to make some moves but can't get it done. Only five laps gone. And, I mean, if we overtake all of this lot, we're going to be up to around about 12th already. So we are in a good position. Um, not too worried about tyres and stuff. As I said, fuel will deal with it at some point. But, yeah, Bottas... In a little bit of no man's land, Alonso has closed the gap, but this DRS train is making it very difficult to pass. I wonder how the soft tyre runners... So soft tyres are sort of matching us on the push. Um, Gasly, Russell and Perez all struggling a little bit more. Or having a bit more tyre wear. So let's go um, again up into overtake with Alonso. Let's get him through this group first if we can. See what he can do as he is. There we go. Making moves. That's what we need him to do. That is what we need him to do, try and cut a path through these runners. I think the soft tyre degradation is pretty bad for these guys because we are overtaking them very easy. I know we've got a faster car, but we are getting the moves done pretty easy in this one. Valtteri, let's get you up into overtake, see what you can do as we come round down this fast corner in here. Go on, stick it up the inside of the Alpine. There you go. Yes, lovely. Lovely stuff from Valtteri. Both drivers making very good progress. Okay, we're just coming up to the start of lap 10, and uh, we're conserving a bit of fuel, but Alonso's still climbing the places. 13th he is now, just in front of the uh, the Haas here of Kevin Magnussen. Sector 3, yellow flag. Sector 1, yellow flag. So, interesting to see what's happening here. But yeah, Bottas is making a little bit hard work of getting past the Haas of Kevin Magnussen. Um, so, we might just come off. Hamilton is, Hamilton's not having a good time in that Haas, is he? He really is not having a good time in the Haas. It's like he should have signed for Aston Martin when he had the chance, but he didn't. So, but yeah, so Magnussen is losing pace to Alonso. Um, so Bottas really needs to get this done pretty soon because the more he's losing pace behind this hat, this Haas, then he can't make the moves we want him to. So um, Alonso just sitting nicely behind the, the McLaren of Lando Norris, who is on softs, and they're all on sort of similar tyre wear, so it's nothing too bad. But up into 14th and 15th already is pretty handy. Um, yeah, we just need Bottas to get this done, to be honest. Through these high-speed corners, we should be much, much quicker than the uh, than the Haas. But he's just struggling to, struggling to get it done, which is annoying. We may have to get Alonso. Let's see if Alonso can get past as well. So, well there we go. Bottas makes his move. Up the inside of the Haas. Lovely stuff as I punch my desk accidentally as well. There is something in Sector 2. A yellow flag in Sector 2. As um, Alonso just gets past Norris. As I was looking to click on Alonso, I accidentally clicked on Norris. But uh, yeah, that's good as well. So both drivers up another spot. Let's see if uh, we can make some more moves as Sonoda has come back in. Oh, that one. Wow, that was a really hard break from Valtteri Bottas. They're breaking late but making it work. Uh, and that is what we need to do. So I think what we'll do for a little while, they're both in decent positions here, drivers, just to do a bit of harvesting. Alonso needs to make sure, in fact, Alonso can't harvest. He needs to make sure he doesn't lose uh, Dan Ricciardo. Hamilton pits after his little incident, uh, which caused him to have his crash. I assume that'll be a damaged front wing. But uh, yeah, here we, 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 we're climbing the places. Can't argue that. Ten laps until our pit stops. Okay, both drivers gaining a free spot because Ocon has spun and uh, 
dropped all the way down into 16th. So Alonso is now only one place off the points before the pit stops, which is a phenomenal drive from our experienced Spaniard, to be honest. And it's something I'm absolutely loving in this race. So, yeah, only uh, fuel slowly coming in as well. 2.2 minus is what we started on. But uh, we'll have to see. Oh, Perez pits are the first of the soft runners. Comes in to the pits. Norris is losing pace. So, okay, Bottas has just got past him. So, Bottas, we need to take you off this. We need to get on deploy. So, you get you back up into the range of Fernando Alonso for the DRS. Which I'm not sure you're going to get lots of people pitting. Which will be uh, very interesting to see what happens here. Yeah, Bottas hasn't got the DRS. So, he needs to get his foot down. And get into uh, into that slipstream, per se, of Fernando Alonso, who is, I think, comfortably in it. Oh, there's Perez. His pit comes out in front of us. So, yeah, it's gonna be, if he's doing soft to hard till the end, that could be very, very impressive. He'll be on knackered tyres at the end. But let's use that pace of the Red Bull to pull us along. That would be lovely. And uh, once Bottas has caught up, we'll do the same with him as well, because... Yeah, that Red Bull on fresh tyres. I mean, look at these straight away. Look how much he's attacking Daniel Ricciardo. Wow, Sergio Perez is a man on a mission there. He really is. Although Ricciardo's going very, very slowly. But uh, come on, Valtteri. You're very close to getting back in. There we go. We can take you off this. Uh, we'll leave you on normal fuel at the moment because we need to get you back within very good attacking range. But Perez, yeah, Perez. A fantastic pit stop from Perez there. Worked that really well. So we should see Stroll pit soon, Sonoda pit soon, and Daniel Ricciardo pit soon. Yeah, it's going to be very, very interesting. So, let's see. Hopefully Bottas can gain some places. Oh, Leclerc has crashed, which is massive for Ferrari. Let's see what he's done. He's behind the other Ferrari as well. This could be pretty deadly. Oh, he's locked up straight on. Big crash. I don't think it's a safety car. We had Vesti crash there, I remember. And here's uh, Bottas enters his pit window, and we are getting our fuel back in line as well. Alonso right on the back of Daniel Ricciardo. Sort of be lovely if he could pass him as well. We've been charging his battery up as well, uh, Fernando Alonso. And let's get him into overtake and get that done. And Bottas, I think you're going to have to get a bit of a shimmy on, mate. Um, he's not as good. Doesn't seem Bottas is as good as bringing his fuel back in line. But Alonso's been sitting right behind the Mercedes with Slipstream, so... Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what Alonso can do. He should get this move done because, yeah, it's it's really it's really interesting actually this race because the soft runners, us on push is sort of running at the same speed as the softs, which would suggest they're going to go soft to medium at a similar time to us. But um, yeah, we can see. But Leclerc is now behind both our drivers. He's 3.7 seconds off Bottas. So, as uh, Fernando Alonso looks on the outside of the Mercedes, a bold move. Go on, Alonso. Make it stick. Oh, he's backed out just coming into this corner. Bit unlucky, but he should get them next time, as his uh, race engineer is saying. Is Bottas... Right, Bottas has really caught up now, so we'll get him... Get Bottas just to sit behind Fernando and sort of follow him through if Fernando can get past Daniel Ricciardo, that would be absolutely lovely. Because Ricciardo, where he's defending from us now, is losing pace to Sonoda. I still can't believe Sonoda's up there in, in sick. That's absolutely bonkers. But uh, maybe he's coming of age. Who knows? As Bottas sitting behind his teammate. It'll be hard on the brakes into the chicane. As Sonoda pits, Ricciardo pits, Stroll pits. Right, now we need to go, people. Now we need to go. Can use energy. Use energy. Yeah, use your energy, boys. Use your energy. We need to get this... This is where we need to make some fast laps here because we'll be pitting soon. And it was... Let's have a look. Ricardo is just... Onto the mediums. Ricardo doing a two-stop. As is Sonoda. Wow. Okay. Really interesting, that one. Sector one, yellow flag. Something's happened there. Someone's run wide. Alonso and Bottas up into fifth and sixth. But obviously, we haven't pitted yet. It was Alexander Albon that ran wide. But yeah, let's uh, get some real pace here. Bottas should... In theory, be able to pass his teammate, um, and that would work, that would make sense because then because Bottas is pitting first, so that would make sense. But Alonso closing the gap to Perez, who is stuck behind Albon, I think now. So yeah, it's a very uh, interesting little race. This one, I think we are deploying our battery. I'm just thinking, do we want to? Oh, I mean, if we can get Alonso into the next DRS zone, a DRS stream, that would be incredible. Whether that's possible, I'm just going to use this opportunity to save Bottas's fuel. 
And we'll put Alonso into balance. Because the pace we've got is decent. The pace we've got is good. And we are pitting Bottas in, what, two laps, Alonso in three. So, yeah, we're, we're in a good spot. We're in a very good spot right now. It just all depends on the pit stop. We've got 11 seconds between us and Joe. Um, entire time considerations. 11 seconds on the safety car. 18 seconds green flag when no hazard. 20 seconds is your average pit lane. Okay. All right. That's not too bad. 11. That's uh, about 12. 13. 13 and a half. 14. 15, 16, 17. Yeah. Okay. We'll come out. We'll come out somewhere decent-ish. So, I think, is Alonso? Oh, he's so close. Because Perez is really struggling to get past. And there he is. Bottas is in DRS. Hopefully he gets it up the long straight, which would be awesome because Bottas is going to get it as well. So they can pull each other along and make that work, which would be huge if we get DRS at the top of this hill. Because Perez is struggling to get past Albon, which is massive. There we go. DRS, DRS. Superb. Get us along there. Pull us up. Get us away from Gasly and Joe, who are battling behind us. This is superb driving from both Aston Martin drivers. We love to see it. Love to see it. Right, Bottas is pitting next lap. So he's going to stay behind Alonso. So we'll charge him up ready for his uh, outlap after pitting. And see what he can do. Because he should. I mean, he's like, he's losing a bit of pace to Alonso. But in theory, he should be pretty good. I know we've got him on conserve and everything. But Perez really struggling to get past Alex Albon. And that'll be that's great. Well done, Alex Albon. I've always liked you. Right, conserve. We're, we're well within the... DRS of this now. Uh, Bottas just dropping out a little bit, so we'll just get him back onto neutral in this corner. In this corner zone is Perez is going for the move. Do we follow Perez through? Do we try and follow Perez through? I think we have to consider getting our fuel back in. Is Verstappen pits? He was a medium runner. Be interesting to see what he comes out on. But uh, yeah, Alonso's there, still charging up and still going to have DRS, which is massive. As is Valtteri as well. Verstappen is in onto the hard. He is doing. The medium to hard strategy, same as us, as Albon now pits. Right, we need to make sure we keep pace with Sergio Perez. And uh, just make sure that this works for us, to be honest. Where is Bottas? He does have uh, DRS. Yes, onto the hard tyres for Valtteri on this lap. Back up to neutral, back into balanced. Just need to make sure, because the pace now that Perez has is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous how quick he's going to be. Now that he's passed us, so yeah, don't uh, don't mind what he's doing. To be honest, he's he's not. Is he pulling? We might. Yeah, Alonso didn't get DRS. Bottas did, and it's pulled him right in behind um, Fernando Alonso, which is which is fine. Which is fine. They're both they're both. Bottas is going to be pitting this lap. We could let try and let Bottas go, but I think we'll just use this again. Let Alonso pull you around for this lap just before you're going to pit. And uh, save some fuel, save some ERS, and we'll utilize that after we pit. You think we started 19th and 20th, so the fact that we're up to 4th and 5th, yes, we've got a pit stop, but it's our only pit stop of the race. We, uh, Yeah, points could be on here. Points could be on. Points could be very much on. Okay, so Valtteri is heading into the pits at Spa, Francochamps, and he's uh, coming down at quite some pace. Signs is also in, so Signs and Bottas on a similar strategy. So... Yeah, I wonder where we're going to come out. Oh, yeah, Alonso will be pitting after this one onto the hards. Alonso technically has the quickest strategy of both drivers. So, it would be very interesting to see how Alonso finishes this race. But Bottas is out. Can he get out in front of Sonoda? No. So, he's going to have quite a bit of traffic. As is... No, see, Signs just comes out in front of them. And we're going to be coming out just behind this group of drivers. Who are a few hard runners, a few medium, but... We're coming out on very good tyres, which is which is very, very helpful, obviously. Uh, Bottas is at the back of this train, but in a good in a good place. Alonso currently sitting in third, but he does have to pit. Um, and he has an 11-second gap, so he should come out, what, just behind Bottas, basically. But it's, it's looking okay at the moment. We just need to make sure Bottas, where he's conserving, conserving and harvesting and everything, isn't going to lose too much pace, but... He should actually have natural pace to hopefully jump this lot quite quickly. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how he does. Um, we could potentially save up a bit of 
tyre wear behind the result. Has Verstappen pitted? He has, and he's still first. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. But uh, Bottas in 10th isn't too bad at the moment. I, yeah, I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Uh, Fernando Alonso is just coming to the end of this lap, so we'll watch him and we'll watch his pit stop as well. Let's just get this on Harvester Conserve because he's going to come in right after the... Or, like, you basically do the first turn of the chicane and then go straight on into the pits, just like that. And uh, here he is. So he should be coming out around Valtteri Bottas in 10th or 11th is, is the plan. Uh, Bottas still very much keeping pace with absolutely everybody. Even though we're harvesting up and conserving his fuel, which is good. We need a good stop here, boys. We need a good stop. 2.5. Not bad. Alonso. There's this group of cars again. As uh, Alonso is going to come out. Yeah. Just ahead of Albon. So, yeah. Alonso's strategy there. Working very, very nicely indeed. Right. He's battling Albon up. Oh my god, up the big fast hill. I can't remember its name. La Rouge, I think it's called. It escapes me at the moment. But uh, Alonso is going to get past Albon, I think, at this one. Right, we need to get Valtteri back into this race as well. So he can carry on. And Alonso, make it stick. Come on. There we go. Alonso is through, which is awesome. Right, Bottas, your turn, mate. Your turn to make something here and make this happen. Um, Alonso... I don't think we're going to need to push you too much. I think your natural pace is going to get you up. But at the moment, 8th and 10th, two in the points. All pit stops done for us. Alonso and Albon ran wide at the same corner and Alonso's dropped into 14th. Absolutely shocking. There's a crash as well involving multiple cars, which is happening. So, oh, did Albon actually crash behind us? So there goes Alonso. Albon, oh, he did. He hit into the back of Fernando Alonso. But no time penalty. Oh, that's a that's a dodgy one, isn't it? That's an interesting one, right? You need to uh, you need to get a bit of a shimmy on Alonso, don't you? Because now you're you're struggling. You're miles behind. Albon into the pits for a new front wing. But uh, yeah, along just as I was saying, both drivers in the points. Alonso drops down to 14th, which isn't very handy. Four seconds off Magnussen. He's about five six seconds off the points. So yeah, Bottas though, up into eighth, isn't he? Got got Daniel Ricciardo. So good for him. Okay, we're asking Bottas to do some moves here. We've actually lowered his tyre wear a little bit. I think Alonso has lost quite a lot of tyre wear from um, his little sort of spin running wide incident. But we're asking Bottas on conserve. Bottas's fuel is very close to being back in line. But we're asking him up into overtake to try and get a move done. Because Stroll and Sonoda are going a lot slower than Valtteri Bottas. So he should be able to get it done. And then he might be on the back of Carlos Sainz as well. Who's being held up by Gasly. So... There is potential still here. Alonso back into the DRS train of the cars in front of him, which is very, very helpful. Um, he's just got to get moves done again. He's got to really make an effort now to get things done as sector one flag again. Yeah, look, well off. So they, that has hurt his tyres doing that for Alonso. He does have the current fastest lap, so that's not too bad. Oh, Sonoda in front of us running wide has meant we're going to get an opportunity to go round him and we have Valtteri Bottas passes Sonoda next up Lance Stroll and his fuel is back in line as well so let's nice deploy our energy to get into that DRS of Lance Stroll it's looking good for Bottas at the moment Alonso need, has got a lot of work to do with 20 laps to go okay Valtteri Bottas having a look at Lance Stroll it should be pretty easy he doesn't have DRS uh, we're going up into overtake just to make sure because we'll get DRS as we get to the top of the hill and uh, this should be this should be a piece of cake, Valtteri. I don't want to put any pressure on you, mate. But with DRS, come on. This should be a piece of cake. Why was that not a piece of cake? Valtteri, Valtteri you should be gobbling that up all day. That's ridiculous. Alonso in 14th, still doing a good job. We're asking him to harvest up for a little bit just to get him some battery in case we need to use the overtake. But uh, yeah, he's doing a good job. He's, he's up to 14th. He's got the Claire behind him. And... Um, yeah, he needs to see if he can make this work. I'm sort of thinking maybe Alonso fresh tyres, to be honest. We'll see how it gets towards the end of the race. If he climbs a lot of spaces or there's a safety car, then I think it could be uh, it could be optimal for him as Bottas. Having a look at Stroll again. We're still getting him on the overtake, trying to get him to deploy the battery, but it's not working for him just yet. We know that Valtteri can keep pushing the tyres if needs be, so let's go for that. Get you into neutral, see if the... 
being a bit more aggressive on the tyres can help. Take a few more aggressive high-speed corners. Right, Alonso, come on, up into overtake. You should outpower that Haas. You do outpower that Haas. That is what we needed back up into 13th. It's been a bit of a slog for Fernando this race, bless him. But Bottas uh, still having a look at Lance Stroll. Up into overtake, come on. This is a short little DRS zone. You should be able to get it done here. He's up on the inside into turn one. That is going to be lovely for Valtteri. Back up into fifth. Now Valtteri. And this is where, again, we actually need you to push quite hard to um, catch up to Carlos Sainz. 2.7 seconds ahead. Being held up by Gasly, as we said. He's still got a chance. Alonso past K-Mag. Now chasing down Lando Norris. I've actually just realised that Alonso is in a gaggle of cars. That if he overtakes them all, he's in the points. Again, he's in 10th. So, it is not completely over for Fernando Alonso. And we will not be pitting him, um, to be honest. We're going to be keeping him out here. Valtteri's fuel just going into the negative slightly again. Um, but he is doing good lap times. He's closed the time to, uh, to signs ever so slightly. So, again, we catch signs. There's an option we catch Gasly. And a podium isn't out of the question for Valtteri. I need to watch what I say occasionally, but... Yeah, Perez and Gasly pitted really early for their hards. These medium runners are surely potentially pitting again as well. I'm not sure. But Bottas sets the new fastest lap. Um, oh, safety car. Safety car. Okay. Um, now, this is a complete game changer. This, this is huge. This is huge. Because Alonso... Oh, he's just past the pit lane. Who's crashed? Who Who has crashed? Oh, that's someone facing the wrong way. Magnussen is facing the wrong way. So that is our say. Oh, Leclerc. Oh, or is Leclerc just turning the corner? Leclerc could just be turning the corner, to be honest. But we've got to do a whole lap and get round. What is it looking like in terms of tyres? So add a new stint. I think the mediums will generally be quicker. Um... I don't know if you can go soft till the end. Oh, you can. You can go soft till the end. So what is our uh, report circuit info? Uh, time considerations or is it compound performance? That's it. So softs are three tenths quicker than mediums, which are two tenths quicker than the hards. But they're going to time loss from degradation seconds per lap, 0.1. So within three laps of doing the softs, you're into the medium strategy. You're matching the mediums, to be honest. Competitive performance, 11 to 25 laps, 16 to 37. So 11, 25, 16, 37. We're on lap 27 of 44. So that'll be fine. 15, 16, 17, 18. I mean, it is. That is well within the softs. 11 to 25. Maybe going on the mediums and pushing is the better option. Maybe... Well, let's have a look, right? So that's... So mediums there and push is saying an extra 12 seconds. But softs and don't push, extra 20. So mediums... I think we bring both drivers in under safety car for a fresh set of medium tyres and risk it. We started at the back, so I feel like... We've, we've got pretty much nothing to lose here. So, into the mediums. We're not going to lose hardly any time under under the safety car. And that's what we go for, I think. So, we'll carry on there. We'll get pit options onto the fresh set of mediums. Pit this lap. Pit options, fresh set of mediums, pit this lap. Uh, ignore, ignore, because I've just done all of that. Let's go and have a look at the safety car. So, multiple cars. Let's just let's just check it out. It's always good to see the crashes. Um, why is it looking at our car? We didn't crash. Oh, my word. Wow, I didn't realise how close we were to that. Terrible break in there from the Haas. I'm going to say Magnussen, yeah, K-Mag. Blooming hell. Okay. Oh, and Daniel Ricciardo. Daniel Ricciardo involved here. 
And Daniel Ricciardo. Oh my word, it's it's Haas into Alpine into Ricciardo. It's a proper domino effect. All three are out and we are under the safety car. So, right, Verstappen and Perez don't pit, which is very interesting. I thought the AI may pit, to be honest. So Bottas is going to come in from fifth and he'll lose a spot to Stroll. Probably Sonoda as well. But we're going on to fresh tyres, which means we're going to have the pace at the end of this race. So, I think we'll definitely lose a place to Sonoda and Russell. As Alonso comes in for the double stack. I hope this is the right decision. I feel like it is under safety car. I feel like it makes sense. Where's Vettel? He's going very, very slowly down there. But, okay, we might come out behind Norris. Yeah, we're going to come out just behind Norris. Yes, just behind Norris. That's okay. And uh, Alonso's going to come out a bit further down, but I don't mind that. Alonso, might he's not going to come out last. Albon's well behind. But fresh tyres to make a, an, a fresh attack because we're going to bunch up. So we're going to be in a very good position. Safety car ending soon. Well, it's not ending soon. We've got ages yet. Let me just look at the map. I mean, the safety car's gone miles ahead. Right. There we go. Okay. Deploy. Push. We've saved up all of our things. Let's go attack to start. Attack. Push. Deploy. Right. Both drivers. What can we do? Who should we get on board with? Um, Alonso's further behind. He's come out behind Leclerc. Bottas in 10th. Alonso 12th. It's not too bad, actually. Let's get on board with uh, Fernando. As we come around the chicane, because we can see Bottas in front. Bottas already having a little look at Lando Norris. Here we go. Back underway with some racing. What can we do here? They're on me they're on hards. We're on mediums. We've got the better tire. We should be quicker. Alonso just scoots past Leclerc so easily on that first restart lap. Right, there's nearly about 14 laps to go after the safety car. We need to see if we can make some moves here. Is that safety car gonna help us out? It should do. It really should do, as uh, Bottas ahead is looking at Lando Norris. Can he? I don't know. It's really, I mean, it's really going to hurt for Stappen and Perez. Sainz has now got a chance to get past Gasly. It's right, look at that. Look at that battling in front of us, and Alonso's got past him. Lovely driving from Fernando. Uh, from Bottas, sorry. We're on board with Fernando, aren't we? Fernando's in 11th. But Bottas into the points again, up into 9th. I say, if this, this is, I think this has really helped us out. Really helped us out. Because it's we, we've got a fast car and we've got a fast car on fresher tyres now. So, yeah, Bottas, if your tyres are overheating, you can calm them down a little bit. Go into neutral. Our faster, generally faster car should really help us out. We'll keep Alonso on push, though. Because he's really got to try and make something happen here. We could go into overtake um, and try and help Bottas past, past Vettel, I think feel like Alonso's got enough speed now. He's in a good position. Ninth and 10th, both back in the points, starting from the back. So, yeah, goes to show never really, never completely give up. There's always a chance. There's always a chance. Right. Up into overtake. We'll uh, leave Alonso for now. We want Bottas to get past. Go on. Go on, Valtteri. Go on, Valtteri. Have a little look. Create the space for Alonso. See what you can do. See what you can do as we go around this first corner. Yeah, he keeps having a little look, doesn't he, Valtteri? Off the exits. There we go. Look at that pace. He's right on the back of Sebastian Vettel. The once Aston Martin driver. He's not going to have DRS either, Vettel, I think. So this should be... We could do a double overtake here on the Alpine. Valtteri, pull out and get it done. That's it. Go on, Valtteri. Put your foot down. Oh, there's no DRS. It's not open yet, is it, after the safety car? Right, Valtteri gets through, I think. And Alonso's trying to follow him. Right, Valtteri's through. Back into neutral. You done a good job. Come on. Come on. Come on, Fernando. Sonoda again. Sonoda's catchable. Stroll's catchable, I think. I feel like they're all very catchable in our super Aston Martin car that we've built. Come on, Alonso. Get past Sebastian. 
You replaced him in this car. This could have been Sebastian Vettel driving this speed machine. And he, he didn't want to. He wanted to go. And there we go. Alonso is through as well. Lovely, lovely stuff. Right, Bottas keep pushing with the fastest lap as well. I mean, tyre wear, we're already down to 90. But it is better than everybody else. So again, it could, could count for a lot come the end of the race. It really could. Right, 8th and 9th. And again, Bottas in such a good position. Let's get him into overtake again. And see if he can get past uh, George Russell in what should be a quicker Mercedes, but isn't. It's going to be a little bit harder with Sonoda in front, slowing everyone down. But if Bottas can get it done here, which it looks like he's going to, we'll keep him in overtake and then he can get Sonoda on the DRS as well, I reckon. As Alonso's having a look as well on George Russell. Oh, that Mercedes is going slow. And uh, you love to see it, don't you? You love to see it. Bottas really catching on to Sonoda. We're going to keep them both in overtake for this part of the lap as well. Because if we can get up to 6th and 7th, that would be huge. Huge, to quote uh, Donald Trump. But yeah, let's, uh, let's keep this going. Go on, Bottas. Have a little look at Sonoda. We've got a good view here from here on Alonso. He's watching what you're doing. He's going to mimic it when he comes up behind Sonoda. There we go. Bottas has a look. Bottas. Is he going to get round on the outside? Well, I mean, Alonso's got a cracking view of this race. And I think Bottas is going to make that one stick. Yes, he is. Right, Bottas, you need to go, son. You need to absolutely go and catch up to Stroll. You've got two seconds to make up. You can do it. I believe in you. It's going to rinse your battery. But you've got more pace than Sonoda. You've got a bit of fuel as well. Fuel extra. So, Fernando having another little look. It's really rinsing uh, Alonso's battery, this. But, again, if we get past Russell, then we've got DRS off Sonoda. Which will be very, very helpful. And Bottas, his pace is... He's closing the gap on Stroll already. It's lovely to see. And Bottas is generally very, very good under braking. So, he should be in a, a pretty good position. Yeah, you've lost battery. I know, I know. Just keep going. You've got to try. You've got to keep trying, mate. You've got to keep on trying. Because Stroll really isn't that far ahead. He's really not that far ahead. If you can keep battling Bottas, you're going to be up in those top scoring points pretty soon. And that is wonderful to see. That is wonderful from where we started in this Grand Prix. As Alonso's having a look at George Russell. Can't get it done. Let's go up into overtake again. As he pulls out to the side and he's just drifted in. Just drifted back in. Come on, Alonso. Get this one done. George Russell just hanging on to the DRS of Sonoda. Just. Just. It's undeserved from Yuki Sonoda, who was a driver we were considering early on in this career. Didn't pan out for him with a move to Aston Martin. Ended up going to Williams. But, um, yeah, at the moment, he's trying to keep pace with Bottas, and he just can't do it. It seems, as uh, Alonso having a little look as Russell just seemed to go a little bit wider there on the exit. And Alonso's used all of his battery to get past the Englishman and uh, be in a very good position. Right, Sonoda up next should be a lot easier for uh, for Alonso than going around George Russell. I can't imagine Sonoda's going to put up as much as a fight as, uh, as George Russell did. Let's go into Harvest because I think we're going to have the pace anyway to get this done. Bottas closing the gap on Stroll. We're in a good position here, people. Right, Alonso's completely lost that. Uh, sorry, Sonoda's completely lost the pace to Valtteri Bottas. And harvesting up, just meaning that Alonso didn't deploy any battery on that last little stretch, is going to really help him out here. Russell's right on Alonso's tail, but we should be able to get past um, Yuki Sonoda pretty easily under DRS. Maybe even without DRS. I prefer you did it with DRS, because then it'll, it'll pull you away. So, up into overtake with the DRS as well, just to make sure, getting clean air. And uh, you'll get that move done relatively easily. Yes, there we go. Right, so you don't just stay in the clean air anymore. You can go into neutral. Again, your pace should take you away from Sonoda Bottas. Look at that. He's already on the back of Stroll and Sainz and Gasly. This is phenomenal driving. Absolutely phenomenal. Alonso's three seconds off. So he needs to get a bit of a shimmy on uh, to catch up to Bottas. And Bottas, up into overtake, please, mate. Let's get this done. Come on. Oh my word, I've missed the replay, but Carlos Sainz has also spun, which means if Bottas gets Stroll and Gasly, he's on a podium. And Alonso is in sixth as well, so this race is so... It's there. In nine laps to go, and we are in such a good position. Gasly doesn't have... Uh, Stroll has lost DRS, sorry. But uh, we're trying to get Bottas to do the move. 
But Alonso's natural pace is insane how much he's caught up Valtteri Bottas here. In fact, let's let Bottas and Stroll pull us along. And we'll just get you harvesting up your battery so that you can have a proper attack at Stroll at some point as well. But Stroll, I'll give Stroll his credit. Again, our ex-driver is defending, defending well in front of us. He is holding us up, which is a little bit of a kick in the teeth at the moment. Both, both drivers complaining that tyres are slightly overheating. But, yeah, I mean, Verstappen out in front. Him and Perez are having a right old ding-dong battle for first and second. So, no, it doesn't seem to be any team orders there. But, um, yeah, I mean, look, that's, that's Gasly. That's Gasly in third, just there, going around the chicane. I mean, this could be massive. This could be huge. To be, to be bottom, the last two on, after qualifying with that bug... And still be in a position where we're potentially going to be fighting for a podium. As Bottas having a look at Stroll again. I mean, Stroll should be, again, should be a sitting duck. He's now going to have DRS. The little crap bag. Right, let's get on, bar let's get on board with Bottas. Driving clean air. See if you can get up that inside. Position yourself there. It's pulling us in towards Gasly. Not quite. Not quite enough on that one. Okay, and you go into neutral. Alonso's still still sitting there, and he's half has charged up his battery quite a lot. In fact, let's. Uh, well, you don't really need to harvest anymore. You're in a you're in a good position. So, right, Valtteri, you need to get past him, mate. You need to get past him. That's it. Go on. You've got him on the outside. You've done that move a couple of times today. You've done that move a couple of times. That's it. Squeeze him out. Squeeze him out. You're going to have the inter... Oh, Valtteri, you pulled out of it. You pulled out of it, Valtteri. You pulled out of it. Alonso sitting in the wings, mate, with a much better looking battery than you. He's ready to make a move. Because you're running out of uh, laps to do it, to be honest. You should be able to get past him. Because we're going to have to take you off fuel push in a minute. Unless we just ask Alonso to send it past Valtteri and see what happens. But, yeah, it's annoying. Because if we get past... Stroll and Gasly, it's three seconds, but they could be catchable up there. They could be catchable. We just need to make this happen, Valtteri. You need to make this happen. Although Alonso's got such a good exit out of there, I think he's going to get Valtteri. Here he is. So it's now going to be Alonso's chance to go and attack Stroll. And see what he can do. And Bottas, well actually, to be fair, Bottas, we can use this as an opportunity to... Just take you off this sort of stuff because you'll get pulled along by uh, DRS. So that's not a problem. But uh, right, Alonso's turn to have a go at Stroll, who is going to have a go at Gasly. Sector one, someone's run wide. I mean, another safety car now would be bonkers, to be honest. But right, Stroll is through, and Alonso's looking at both of them. Snowdoos, who was having such a good race, is now down in eighth after running wide on turn three. These guys really need to get out of the way. We might need to do some manual sort of manoeuvring here in terms of driving clean air to get this done. But come on, come on, Fernando. They're not going to be that much quicker than you. Come on, matey. How's your fuel doing? Yeah, you can still push. You can still push. Go on, get on that inside. Get on that inside. That's it. Gasly's gone. Right, we've got Gasly. Your battery's empty, but Stroll is still within your sights. Bottas, you have a go at Gasly as well. Come on. Alonso up into fourth. At the moment, with Stroll's on a podium, which Looks is like just horrible. Bottas. No one wants to see that. Go on, Fernando. You've got the pace, mate. You've got the pace. As you come out of here, you should have the pace with DRS to get into that podium spot. Or In fact, the actual sensible thing to do would be sit behind him here. Sit behind him on this bit, go around the first corner, and then get the DRS up the long straight. Oh my god, I thought it was going to crash into the back of him. And, uh, well, he's having a look straight away. Now we can push. And now we get ready to say clean air. Because we need to get it done right now, Fernando. This would be key, and then your pace will take him away. It will take you away from him, trust me. Right, he's closing in on him. Getting clean air. Look at he's parking it right in the middle. No, not this time. Not this time. Harvest up. Because I think we've got the pace to get around him. So harvest up. Don't do anything there. Bottas. 
You can also harvest up. You can sit behind Gasly and harvest. Let's just make sure you're in the green, mate. I don't want you messing up and running out of fuel. Yep. Just get that fuel back in the green for us. That's all we need. There we go. Okay, surely this lap, Fernando Alonso gets it done. Surely he gets it done after turn one here. Bottas, oh my god, Bottas, how are you losing pace to Gasly that much? And how are you drinking your fuel so badly? Alonso, having a look up the hill. Hopefully he's going to get the DRS detection zone. I would hope, really hope we haven't given... Yes, we've got DRS as well. Go for it, son. Go for it. Push. Five laps to go. You need to get away from Stroll now. You need to really push and get away. Bottas has had an absolute shocker there. I don't know what he's done, but he lost some pace to um, Pierre Gasly. Quite a lot of pace, actually. Um, but Alonso into the podium after starting from 19th or 20th and then spinning is now up into a podium spot. Fernando Alonso, you are just a magician. An absolute magician. Okay, it looks like Pierre Gasly's having another look at Lance Stroll and we need to be in that battle. Alonso is gunning it. He is absolutely out of here. He's having a superb drive. He's, he's over a second ahead of Stroll already, so... Yeah, he's doing a great job. Gasly isn't going to get past Stroll, I don't think. Not yet. We've got, I mean, we've got four laps for Valtteri to be able to do something. So, it's not in a, it's not in a dreadful situation for Valtteri. He can still get a fourth. It's still very much on the cards. But uh, Alonso is pretty much out of here. We'll just put him on conserve for a little bit. Both drivers can sit on conserve. Valtteri can actually probably save a little bit of his tyres out here as well. Now can Alonso can as well. Given that he's uh, over a second ahead of Gasly. We'll keep an eye on that just to make sure it stays that way. But um, yeah, both drivers doing brilliant, to be honest. To be Where we started, both drivers have done absolutely brilliant in this. They really have done a superb job. And yeah, they've done well. I mean, we've upgraded the car. That's helped. We've got new engine components. That's helped. But we've taken them and we're still going to be potentially a podium and fourth, fifth or sixth. So... It's just absolutely superb from both drivers. They've done so well in this race. Four laps to go. Okay, Valtteri Bottas is going to start his final lap of the Grand Prix. And he's dropping off the pace a little bit, which is a bit irritating. But so is Fernando Alonso. So we're going to get Alonso to see if he can secure that fastest lap. Bottas has actually dropped out of um, DRS. So he's probably not going to catch those two in front. But Alonso is currently sitting on a podium. Um, and hopefully should now get away from Gasly a little bit more. Stroll has overtaken Gasly on the last lap. So that's good work from Lance Stroll. Giving him a bit of praise. You know, I didn't think that would be a thing. But um, yeah, Valtteri struggling out of that sort of first corner just to get his foot down. It might be his tyres, tyre wear just coming into it a bit much. But, um, you know, we're asking Bottas to push with everything he's got. So he may get a position. Uh, you never really know. But Alonso currently sitting in third. Perez and Verstappen in one and two. Still battling right until the end. Uh, it really doesn't look like there's many team orders going on there. I mean, Alonso, Bottas, is he going to... I don't think Bottas is going to get anything done. Should we watch the battle at the end to see what happens? Let's get into TV cam. If they take each other out, that would be quite hilarious, wouldn't it? That would be quite hilarious. But Verstappen and Perez battling towards the end. I'm just keeping an eye on Bottas' time because he's very close to Pierre Gasly. But uh, coming around the final chicane, I think it is going to be Perez that wins it from Verstappen. Unless Verstappen can do something with DRS. No, he can't. It is there. Bottas, I don't think, is going to have just enough to get anything done. But Alonso crosses the line in third. What a drive from the Spaniard. Uh, Stroll in th uh, fourth. Gasly fifth. And Bottas fifth, uh, sixth. Very, very close. What a recovery drive from Aston Martin. And we got the strategy right under the safety car. Absolutely love it. What a race. And there he is, Fernando Alonso loving life. He's very happy with his podium again. It's just amazing. He is just amazing. And there you have it. Perez up two spaces to win it. Max Verstappen drops one into second. Fernando Alonso up 16 places to get third and gets the fastest lap, so 16 points for him. And Bottas up 14 places to sixth. Just un unbelievable. We're the only team, I think, to do a proper two-stop. Um, I think Albon did it because of damage. Um, I think Hamilton may have done it as well because of damage. But yeah, superb. And both Mercedes drivers having a pretty terrible time of it. And both Ferrari drivers have a terrible time of it as well. So into the drivers. Fernando Alonso stays in third, stays above Sergio Perez. Valtteri Bottas drops down one. Um, into the constructors then. 
24 points we gained on Ferrari. Absolutely superb. 13 points behind them now. It's really 60 points behind Red Bull. So we are sort of keeping pace with them. What a season this is turning out to be. God, what a race that was. Coming up next is Zandvoort, which is, um, yeah, should be. It's, a, it's an interesting, hard to overtake. It's, again, technical and a bit of speedy. Very quick banked corner at uh, Zandvoort. But we should do pretty well, according that we're in a good position here. So let's hope we don't have that bug again for qualifying. That was that was hard hard to take, that one. That was very hard to take. But, uh, yeah, let's go and check any points. None for Alonso, none for Bottas, and none for Drugovic. Technical Chief has a point. Lovely stuff. Let's get, um, I mean, Underfloor is so powerful. Oh, and that puts him up to an 84 for Enrico Cardelli, which is good. Oh, our head of aerodynamics has one as well. So we'll go with um, the DRS Delta. I think we need to improve that for our next bits. No points for you and no points for you either. Right, Fernando. Fernando. I'm running out of, I know you're running out of patience with me, but I'm running out of patience with you for renewing your contract. So we're going to go 10 and a half. Because I think we can go and get a bloody good driver for 10 and a half million. One season. I swear you want one season. I think you just want to retire. But 10 and a half million. No. I think, I think we go back to... I mean, I just, I think, I think he wants, I think he wants to retire. I think he wants to retire. So scouting-wise, we scouted Lewis Hamilton. Um, if we look at detailed, uh, there's Lewis Hamilton. He is currently on twenty-nine point one seven million a year, which uh, is a bit of a push for us. So we won't be doing that. So who else do we want to look at potentially bringing in next year? So not interested, not interested, not interested, not interested, not interested. We've got you already. We could get Ocon, but I don't really fancy that. Alonso's there. See, he's open to negotiation. Do we do we just go like a million a month? Like 12 million over the year. A million. If he doesn't accept this, we're getting a new driver next year. And it'll be sad to see him go, but that's just the way it goes, right? There you go. 12 million a month. A million a month is what that gives you. A million a month, Fernando. He's still not happy with a million pounds a month. Wow, okay. I, I, I assume he's just going to, he just wants to retire. The only other thing we could do is Valtteri Bottas is on, so Valtteri Bottas is on 17 and a half million. He is getting paid so much money. I mean, we could maybe pay Alonso a bit more. Maybe it's just time for a new driver. Maybe it's just time for a new driver. Not getting Gasly. I mean, Daniel Ricciardo, he's not interested. Vettel, get him back, he's not interested. Not, don't want Magnussen. And then you're sort of dropping off, aren't you? Maybe it is the time for the youngster, Fittipaldi, uh, Drugovic to come up. Maybe Philippe Drugovic steps in. 76 overall, he's not amazing. I mean, Bottas is two ratings better than Alonso. And nine years younger. So, yeah, maybe it is time to replace Fernando Alonso. Maybe it is. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll be back for the next Grand Prix in four days' time, which is Circuit de Zandervoort in Holland. See you then.